Uh, good morning. If you're watching this, it means I've uh, actually got to edit that my first vlog ever. I'm going to do a little fishing vlog. The reason I'm doing it is I'm on a bit of a bit of a mission driving down the south of France to Lake Cassie. Um, yeah, 710 miles on the clock. Got about another hour to go. And yeah, it's been a bit of a mission. Left, left home two o'clock in the morning yesterday, or Friday the second of November. Um, left a bit early, had an eight o'clock crossing, but thought I'd go early so I couldn't sleep because I was far too excited. And I, I thought I'd get on an early, early train, but they won't let me on an early one. And it came to my eight o'clock train, and there was a train getting stuck in the tunnel. So yeah, had a two hour delay there, so basically I ended up with folks that sitting there for about five, six hours yesterday morning, which weren't the best start of the trip. But after that we got a bit of a lick on yesterday. Had a lovely drive, roads over here, tremendous. Yeah, lovely drive through northern France, all the beautiful autumn colours, all the reds and yellows on the leaves. And yeah, really nice and uh, broke the back of it and got to Lyon last night where I booked a campsite. I thought I'll do that, that was sort of 540 miles I've done by then. And uh, yeah, it's definitely time for a rest. I started to feel a bit ill by then, to be honest. So, chucked the bed in the back of the van, got my head down on this little campsite I'd booked, and uh, yeah, got a good 10 hours kipping last night. I feel a lot better for that this morning, and uh, yeah, started to get a bit excited because, yeah, in about an hour's time, I should be pulling up on the old bridge at uh, Lake Cassie. It's been a long time coming this trip, been planning it since April really, started buying stuff. I've, I've never done it on my own before and uh, so I had to buy the boat, uh, engines, echo sounders, batteries, uh, all the stuff that goes with sort of fishing a big lake like Cassie. And uh, yeah, this is it. It's sort of uh, come together pretty quick at the end. I can't believe I'm actually on my way and uh, yeah, hopefully I'm hoping to get there about 10 o'clock uh, French time. Get to the Jeep, meet up my old mate, mate Noisy who I'm sharing the Jeep with. He's been out here a few weeks. I'm sure he'll let, he'll let you know later on how he's got on. And uh, yeah, hopefully going to get the car to Pesh down the restaurant when it opens about midday. Get the boat pumped up. And uh, hopefully we'll be fishing this afternoon for a few hours. It's obviously days only down there, so you can fish till sort of, I bet you fish until about seven o'clock in the evening. Then it'll be home tonight, back in the sheet. A few beers, catch up with Noisy. And uh, yeah, something to eat, then start fresh tomorrow morning, real early, and get out there and uh, hopefully try and track some of these big old casting cart down and see how we do. Alright then, uh, I don't know how I'm going to check it next because I, I doubt I'll be doing this blog all the time. I'll probably do a daily update and then obviously if we catch something, if we film that. The footage might be a, yeah, a bit of different quality. I've got a little cam cold drum video in this thing which is HD so it's alright. And I've got a decent uh, film, well no, a decent SLR which is sort of 4K so if we get any fish I'll try and get the footage on that which should be really good footage. Uh, obviously you've got a catch run first, it's a big old pit, 1200 acres, but uh, yeah, I think it's fishing alright at the moment, it's fishing better than it did last year, my mate said, so uh, yeah, I'm hopeful, I've got sort of 11 full days, 11 and a half days fishing, so uh, in that time hopefully we can uh, sort one or two out and show you a, a Cassie carp. Okie doke, I shall uh, catch up with you later on, over and out. Hi boys, well, we're 780 miles down, but this is it. We're at Lake Cassie and I am absolutely buzzing, love it. Our water's looking a little bit low, but yeah, yeah, what, what a magical place to be. And uh, yeah, really can't wait to see what unfolds over the next uh, 11 days or so. Oh, getting the right gear. Just coming up on the old super famous bridge. Looking over there, the central area. A few Frenchies out in their boat. And as we pan around, looking up the mighty North Arm. Bloody magic. Love it. Right, I shall. Uh, yeah, probably give you a little update tomorrow once we're all settled down. Oi, oi, 
it, boys. I'm bloody here. Well, that be absolutely over the moon. Yeah, what a, what a drive. 780 miles, but all worth it. I'll just spin it round, give you a quick look. Just loaded the old boat up. Oh, I don't really care, but yeah. There's, it. There's the old girl there. Are we ready to go? I'll catch up with you soon. So basically, <laughs> here we f***ing go. He's only been on the lake quarter of an hour. Noisy's been and given up one of his f***ing best spots. And he's f***ing in after a quarter of an hour. Of course now, of course now, he thinks he's going to be a superstar. <laughs> Not the fact that, like I say, Noisy has f***ing put him on the fish and, and, and on the spot. It's a bit of a fuddy fight, I don't feel quite right. It's not snagged, is it? I hope, it, I hope it's a cart, not something else. I had a chub yesterday. Yeah, well, it's bigger than a chub, but... Chub or a roach, I don't know, it fell off. So there he goes. <laughs> Tax my spot. <laughs> and he's f***ing it in. Christ, them rods look really long compared to my ten footers. Oh, there they are, yeah. And the old bridge. <laughs> Gotta try and be a bit discreet, my doll. We don't want to be seen. Yeah, it's a, it's a common. It's a common. He's got one. I haven't f***ing told you, didn't I? 15 minutes. Hey? 15 minutes on the lake. Hey? <laughs> A noisy spot, yeah. Don't forget that. Don't forget. Hey, you're a good lad, you are, Noisy. So basically, Noisy's had um, six fish out of this swim prior to Darren's arrival in the last uh, three fish a day. And the smallest of ads, 35 pound. As we can see, Dell's turned up and he's got a Cornish pasty on the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that for a start, though, sir. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Damn right. Christ, that is a little one. Christ, that is a little one. You see that, folks? <laughs> so, yeah, Darren's uh, on... Um, on the... Pest control, basically. <coughs> Let's get you both right. You got the fish and you in the shot here, Dal. So don't mess it up. Give it in the net, man. Let's take it the liberty. Scare off the big fish. Thirteen footer rods. Foul looked, didn't it? I think it is. You haven't foul looked it, have you? I don't believe it. Yeah, because I slipped out and gone in the. Oh, oh I... it's foul looked. Oh, it slipped out, is it? <laughs> Can you turn this off? Yeah. Here we go, he's in again. Let's hope this wouldn't foul look this time. Uh, and it, yet again, it's on the spot that Noisy gave him. Gave up for him. Shout out, you want so, He's, uh, he's going to be in my debt, isn't he? Good old Noisy. This is a big fish, man. He reckons it's a big fish. Yeah. Here we go again, we're back on. He's claiming it's a big fish. We shall see. And the bridge in the background, and if you can see the line going in the water there on this quality of this camera. Here it comes, leader. We've got a leader. Do you want me to get a net, Adele, or do you want to uh, oh, me to video on it? it, on it. I got, I got you in it as well. That. So here we go. Oh no, he won't come up. I don't know if you can see the leader on this screen. What's that, your phone? Yeah. It's that f***ing pastry common again. <laughs> it's definitely a common. I don't know if it's a big one or not. Didn't look too massive. No, it's not so big. Do you want me to want a video in that in it, Dal? 
Look at the crack of his ass as well, look. Come on, man, don't catch attention to ourselves. Bloody hell, the old lake will know you've got it. Just have a little look around the lake, we'll just go off Delver in a minute, so it's just getting dark, I think, probably um, just around sunset, look around this flat calm, look, there's the old bridge. Oh, Del's just netting to fish, I missed it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It got a whack. Is that a whacker? Oh, yeah, it's a whacker. It's not a whacker, is it? It's good enough for me, mate. It's not a bad fish, is it? It's a very pounder, isn't it? Yep, rolling. Here we are. First day of cash soon. Bloody cook, wish for a better start. 43 pound carbon. Nice one, noisy. He's been sticking a bit of bait in for us during the week. And, uh, yeah, it's all coming good. Yeah, First day, I, what a brilliant start. Yeah, I know they caught a fish off that spot as well, haven't they, Dal? 43 <laughs> pounder. Hey, asked. Day two. Uh, what is it, about half eleven? I don't know. <laughs> don't know, you got your rods in yet. Old two pots, everyone. Bit of a pasty uh, looking one, mid 20 common. Happy days. <laughs> Cheer up, noise. <laughs> right, make me a cup of coffee, I'm going to get me some rods. Beauty, isn't it? The length of it. Yeah. That's the best one I've had so far. Bloody orange. Well, the mirrors have been. Uh, oh, I don't right. know why you had this pasty shoal. Oh no. Well, they're three really nearly white albino fish. But the last two have been much more like. Right. Right. A little bit more that way. That's it. Happy days. I think yeah, that's a stunner. Look at that, what a view. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yes! <laughs> angry, angry. 35 and a half. 20 minutes after the last one. Did the same rod go in? Uh, Look at the camera a minute, smile. No, a different one. That'll do, can't turn around. You sure? Yeah, yeah you've good. got loads on here. Yeah. Seven or eight. Both rods are going in there then, yeah? Yeah. There must be a fucking load of something. I mean, if you could see into the water, there must be a fucking phenomenal it's amount of... It's mainly one rod keeps going. There must be a phenomenal fucking big shoal in that corner yeah. that moved in that corner for some reason. I mean, you've had one on these two, yeah? Yeah. And I've had one lost one on, on, I've had one on these. Yeah. In total I'm just open. I'm, I personally am open that the big fish are going to move in this evening because look at the conditions, look at the um, the new the moon phase. Get up this way a bit. Oh, I can move this actually. Chunky one. Good beauty, Happy isn't it? Dies. Stunning. Well, I can't really take this in. That's uh, the fourth one of the day. It's up till 10, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. And yeah, yeah. There's four lovely fish or three yesterday. In the six hours fishes, it's just, uh, yeah. Couldn't have dreamed of it, couldn't have dreamed of it. Let's get her back. Take it we're recording, I can't see. <coughs> Belly in a little bit. That's it, lovely. That's a stunner, mate. 37 pair, bit of casting gold. Mental day yesterday. Ended up with seven fish and then this one smolded back in the swim. Just going crazy. That old noise is uh he's done something a bit serious and all, but we'll tell you about that in a bit. That's a f***ing brutal fish. Keep shooting because he's a lovely one. Whoa. 
colour of it, look. A little bit more that way. I'm gonna go and get some ointment for that, Dal. Yeah, ain't we? Come to the south of France, they said. Get a bit of sun, they said. Look at it, bloody monsoon. Hello, it's just stopping a bit now. Yeah, having some mental weather out here at the moment. Brilliant fishing weather, but we're having loads of rain. And uh, we're hoping it's gonna, everything's a bit puddle light everywhere so hopefully it'll uh, stop in a bit. Right. Yeah, sweet. Beautiful. Look all right. Sweet. Yeah, if you can't hold it out, that'd do though. I'm getting good photos. Right, that'd do, mate. How's this fin here gonna go in? That did look too bad. Can you push that fin in there on the bottom? Oh, what a fish. Yeah, that's a wicked one. Loads of smiles. All right, let's get us a couple of angles. Good rain, do one. It ain't bloody stopped. Right, time for a little update. Ain't done one for a few days because it's been a uh... Yeah, it's just been mad, so busy. Yeah, the rain and wind has been incredible. The fish has been, yeah, pretty tough going, really, doing the days. Wrapping up every night, getting back to the van, everything's soaking wet, loading it up, back to the jeep. But it's all been brilliant, absolutely love, loved it. And uh, yeah, the first three days, as you've seen from the previous footage, yeah, we just had a major result, landed on a big pack of fish and uh, yeah, I ended up with 13 fish in the first three days, which, yeah, I just can't believe I'm saying it, really. So, yeah, that, that, that was awesome. Uh, my mate Nick, oh, he had it right off, because he had a, a, lot, a lot of bigger fish than I caught. But, yeah, I'm more than happy, and I'm sure he'll tell you when he gets a chance about what he caught. But, yeah, he, he really did the business with a few of uh, Cassie's best, to be honest. So, yeah, it's all good. So, yeah, since, since then, I've blanked the last couple of days. Obviously, things dried up. It won't carry on like that forever on a place like Cassie. So, uh, yeah, the hunt hunt started again. So I've been fishing about the last few days. Hopefully you can hear this all right, because I'm, I'm sat right next to the bridge at the moment. And, uh, yeah, yesterday I fished up in the West Arm. Didn't see a lot, nothing happened. And uh, today I went a bit further down in the West Arm, just around from Kevin at this point. Did the morning there, looked dead, so this afternoon, I wrapped up about one o'clock and I've moved around to the bridge swim to give it a go for this afternoon and evening, basically. So, uh, yeah, got six days left. Can't be too greedy, but I'd like just one big mirror, but yeah, we, we, we'll see if it happens. Uh, yeah, yeah, got plenty of time, really, but the days do fly by out here. It's a, it's a massive pit and yeah, there's a lot of water to cover, trying to find them at the moment. Ain't got a clue where they are, really. I, th I think there's fish dotted about in all three arms, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, we, we give it a go and hopefully have a bit more to show you. But, yeah, obviously the bait's working well. Uh, just about that, I think. Not that like I do a lot of plugging, but obviously I consult for Sticky. And uh, we're using St. Tom's. Tom and Sticky sort of come up with this... Uh, idea of coating the krill in a, a load of like highly attractive paste about three years ago and they've been bringing it out of Cassie the last three years and it's it just seems to work out here in a real big way I've used it in England this year a bit it works there as well it's highly attractive it's like a real sticky sort of a coated paste that breaks down around the fish mill boily so it's krill but it's krill with an edge I think they're gonna release it next year call it krill active or something like that 
but yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a bloody good bit of bite as the results out here have proved. You know, it's uh, yeah, it, this ain't an easy water by any uh, straight imagination, and uh, what we've been catching is just yeah, pretty much blown us away. So yeah, big thumbs up to Thomas Sticky for sorting us out a brilliant bit of bait. And uh, yeah, rigs, rigs wise, they're working, nothing too fancy, just size two ESP grippers, little kickers, short hook lengths, about five inch hook lengths. Yeah, yeah, big 24 mil bait on the end and a stringer and whatever, and a yeah, little bit of bait around it. It's, uh, yeah, it seems to be working all right. But yeah, like I say, this is day, day, day three of no action, so hopefully we can uh, track a few more of these Cassie carp down and get one or two more before we go home. So uh, we, we keep you posted on that and uh, yeah, fingers crossed, all right. Two pound, that's in gold. Forty seven and a half pound. Absolutely made the trip, chuffed to bits. Absolutely chuffed to bits. fish I came here for, 47 and a half mirror, mental day, I've had six fish now today, 47 common, 42 common, this 47 and a half, can't believe it, absolutely epic, yeah, that lost one, what a fish, yes, Beautiful, thank you, baby. Oi, oi, boys. Uh, just thought I'd uh, say thanks very much for all the nice comments you've given us on that little post I put up yesterday. Was uh, yeah, as you can see, I look absolutely. F
It's been, yeah, it's been a carnage out here, not a lot of sleep. Uh, yeah, re really, really hard work. Loads of wind, loads of rain. Just trying to get rods out in big chop, you know, with the GPS and that, just boating out all day. Yeah, yeah, pretty dangerous at times. No, get, get the old wind gets up on here, and it's a, it's a big old pond, and it's chopping about. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's been emotional, as they say. But every, everything's soaking wet. But we're, obviously, it's the weather that's yeah, the fish are loving it. You know, it's uh, just pissing down all the time. And it's just perfect weather out here. You know, it, it stops and the bites are happening. So yeah, I'll just, just turn this round, so, so give you a quick view of uh, how we how we're looking out here. Looking up into uh, the expanse of the null farm. Had a bit of a lay in after yesterday, because yeah, yesterday's day, day's action obviously was bent all packed up. Yeah, yeah, six o'clock yesterday evening. Literally had one rod left out last night, and that 47 pound common ripped off on my last rod at six o'clock, and that was it. T time to wrap it up, did some self takes, and uh, yeah, got back to the G. Cooked a bit of some fajitas for me and my mate. Had a few beers till midnight. Had a bit of a lay in this morning. Didn't get, get down to the lake till sort of 10 o'clock. Managed to get the rods in by 11. And uh, yeah, see what happens this afternoon. Uh, yeah, I, hopefully. You, you don't know these fish, they, they, they could be bloody anywhere now. You know, obviously, I, I ate a bloody pack of them yesterday right on the head. And uh, yeah, nothing's happened today. So yeah, it could be a totally different day. But uh, yeah, I ain't complaining anyway. <laughs> anyway, nice to catch up over and out, boys. Greetings from the not very sunny south of France. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted if anything else happens. £43. Look at this one. What an absolute peach. Yes. What a session. Unreal, lost for words. Off she goes. Pure magic. Time for a little catch up. Uh, yeah, it's day nine, about four o'clock in the afternoon. Just had this 27 column. Couldn't get it on film, but last night I had me a 50 pound, a 50 pound, eight ounce mirror cart. Just on packing up. Absolutely chapped to bits. So yeah, this is a... Uh, I can't believe I've said it again, but yeah, this is fish 28 of the trip. Bloody amazing. Amazing time. Everything's just going right, it seems. Well, happy, happy boy. Cracker. Good old boat battle, this one went straight in the boat. 
Yeah, it was got sort of slightly snagged up straight away, so I thought I'd jump in, got out, and I was tow about, and uh, yeah, managed to get it in. About four in the afternoon. We got this little fella, 23 pound. Never thought I'd say it, but this is uh this is the 30th Cassine car for the trip. Bloody mental. Alright, let's get her back. Half hour before dark, 33 common, and have a great boat battle, third one of the day, and uh, yeah, ran out of things to say about it there, but yeah, they have a lovely fish, felt like steam, bloody lovely. <laughs> Hi guys, I thought I'd do uh, what might be my last update. Uh, been on the radio the other day, there's going to be a French road strikes, apparently fuel strikes or something, they're going to blockade all the motorways, so I think I'm going to have to leave a day early. So all of a sudden it's wind down time, but this is probably going to be my last afternoon on the lake. As you see, the weather's changed dramatically and uh, just in time to give us a chance to draw all the kit out because at that first week we got absolutely punished, but obviously it made the fishing brilliant. Uh, so a quick look. Um, Cassine is looking beautiful as you'd see. Yeah, yeah, quite enjoying this nice bit of sun for a change. It might, makes a, yeah, a very welcome change. Uh, what's happened since last time I spoke to Well, I'm on 31 fish now in 11 days, which just sounds ridiculous saying it. Uh, yesterday I had a nice 38 mirror, uh, followed up by a 23 common about 2 in the afternoon. And then I had a 33 mirror, it's about half four in the afternoon, playing it out in the boat just as it was sort of, uh, the sun was going down, which was absolutely beautiful. And then just as it was getting dark, I had a final fourth take of the day and moved a real big fish. I unfortunately had it on like 10 minutes and I, I was bullying it because I didn't really want to go out in the boat and uh, I, was, I was giving it some proper, <laughs> proper beans like, yeah. But in the groin, bent double and giving it some stick. You've got to play them hard out here. There's so many roots and that on the bottom, you know. You can't you can't let them do what they want. Otherwise, you're just going to get done in all the time. So I'll give it a bit too much, probably. Unfortunately, I had an hook pole. I ain't had many hook poles. I think, uh, I think for the trip, I think I've lost five, maybe six fish, but only two to hook poles out of 35, 30 odd. Yeah, 35, 36 takes, whatever it is. It's, uh, yeah, I, I, I can take that, you know, so that's good. So, uh, yeah, yeah, just thought I'd, I'd fish like this. It's been amazing, absolutely amazing. My mate Nick, he's had a fantastic trip and all. He was here a few weeks before me, but he's had some real big ones. 
well, he's had two of Cassie's biggest mirrors and uh, and a few nice backups to go with it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get him on film later. But yeah, everything's coming around a bit quick now. We're having to change all our plans. So yeah, we're going to be packing up the jeep, packing all the boats down tonight, washing stuff out in the morning, and hopefully getting our way. So whether we've got time to uh, do it, do any little filming with Nick, tell him about some of his captures. Uh, hopefully we can. But yeah. If not, maybe you get, we'll get a bit more uh, details later on. But yeah, just going to wrap it up and say thank you, Cassine. It's, it's been wonderful. I'd like to say thank you to Tom at Sticky Baits for supplying us with this, uh, this new version of the Krill, the Krill Active, which is, well, yeah, for the results you can see, it's something a bit special. No? It's a superb bit of bait and it's done us proud. Like I say, another big thank to uh, Dave Elliott at ESP for sorting me out all the tackle for this trip. and. Uh, Days Golder at fault is for a bit of clothes to keep us warm when it was getting a bit damp. And uh, yeah, better say a big thanks to my missus and Josh for letting us go away uh, for these two weeks. You know, it's not something I do often, it's sort of a once in a lifetime trip list for me getting away for two weeks. So uh, thanks, darling, much appreciated and uh, glad, glad we can make it count. So uh, yeah, that's about it for me. It's been a fantastic trip. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this little video I've put together. And uh, yeah, I'll just get out of the way and let you just have a quick look at the beautiful Cassine in the late afternoon, about three o'clock. Hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers.